This will be a very brief video on the development of the periodic table. There was a Russian named Dmitry Mendeleev, and he's the one who invented the periodic table. Um, what he did is he took all of the elements that were known at that time and organized them by their properties, okay, things that reacted with water, things that were flammable, things that didn't seem very reactive, things that were metals, and he tried to arrange them. And he ended up arranging them by increasing atomic mass. Okay? Um, and he was actually able to predict the existence of several unknown elements. And I don't know what that's there for, so we'll ignore it. This is his early periodic table. Uh, obviously it's written in Russian, because he was Russian. Uh, it doesn't look much like the current periodic table, but you can see the development of some ideas here. For instance, right here, if you look, it goes down, but this would be across the second period on the periodic table. If you looked at the second period, it goes from lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. You can see that he's got all the halogens in a row together. He's got that oxygen group all in a row together. So it's sort of on its um, side as opposed to so the groups of the periods and the periods of the groups here, but you can see where he started to make some of the connections that are in the modern periodic table. And you can also see where he left some gaps, where he knew there were going to be elements that hadn't been found yet, but would have those masses. And he proved to be very correct. All of these elements were later discovered and had properties almost identical to the properties that he predicted. Later on came an Englishman named Robert Mosley, and what he did is he changed it and he put the elements as we see it now into uh, the order of increasing atomic number rather than atomic mass. And he's given us our pretty much our modern periodic table. So that's pretty much the development of the periodic table.